Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. By the end of the week, I should be growling. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market-wise out here, we have, you have the Dow Industrials right now down 85. You get the Nasdaq off 8, S&P's off 2. Gold, gold contract uh, trading down $10.90 at 1934 an ounce. We have silver down 47 cents, twenty-three dollars thirty-six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off twenty-eight cents, trading eighty-nine dollars seventy-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down sixteen ticks, trading one hundred eight oh five. The thirty-year up full two points at one fourteen twenty-nine. And king dollar, king dollar's up four hundred and ten ticks, trading one hundred five nine nine three. Euro is at the uh, price point of. 105 yen is at uh, 148 and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. It's pretty cool here. So check this out, man. So you're down 20 cents right now. You've done 47 million shares. Now we hit 428.72 out here. Okay, so... If you track this as to what we've done out here, you're going to see, yeah, it's right here. Let me get this line right across. You're going to see it was basically two, yeah, two days, maybe three days after the breakout. That's what we've done. Now, the breakout, what we're coming into is 91 million shares, folks. Okay, we're only done with 47 million. We did 104 and 100 million on Thursday and Friday. So at this point, you do have a rejection of lower price. You have dramatically lighter volume, and that says that we're going to bounce. Okay? That's on the S&Ps. Now watch this. On the Qs, it's actually more bullish. Well, the, the, the Qs are much stronger than the S&P. So on the Qs, now this gets really intriguing because on the Qs, you, even, you have not even made it to the swing point. Now... What I've found is that if you're coming down to a swing point, and it, let's just look at it, okay? So today you get 30 million shares. You, the swing point has 63. On Thursday, we did 60, 68. On Friday, we did 51. So the Qs have rejected lower price out here today. And they haven't made the swing point. That is a positive indication, folks. So I'm not quite sure what this market was going to make it bounce. But right now, you don't have any sellers. Now, let's go to the note and bond market. Because there's no doubt the note and bond market, as the dollar, you know, is pretty intense here. We take a look at the note and bond market. The note, I'd say the note and bond market is more intense. Now, what this is doing... You can see this. We've only done 1.1 million contracts. You're at a lower low. And you have the contraction, however, is pretty dramatic. It's 2 point, you're going into 2.1 million contracts versus the 1.1. So you don't have a blow away here as we did last Thursday when we broke that whole consolidation. Well, Wednesday and Thursday broke the consolidation. That being said, the 10-year right now is at 4.532. The two-year, check this out, the two-year is at 5.1. Now, let's do the 30-year. So, USA gets me the 30-year. What has happened is that the 30-year, you can see this has been quite a move. I mean, we went down, we down four points, four and a half points in three days. And the 30-year right now is at 4.65. So US-1, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the 30-year, and I'm going to tie these future contracts together. I, we did this Friday. I just misplaced the number that, that it was. You have to go back 30 years now. Because what we're looking for is that we're looking for where the support was and the swing points were. Okay, so we take a look at this. 
You can see that we absolutely blew away the swing points from last year. We're into the swings, yeah, 2007, 2008, 2009. And you're right into them. Now, there's a lot, there's a lot of support in here. It's going to be pretty hard to break the 112 level. 112 to 114, you can see this here. You know, I can put a couple of these lines on here. They're right next to each other because they're 112, 114. You know, we'll see. You know, because if you do break them, then you're going to do 104, which a 104 would probably turn into a, a 30 year at uh, about five and a quarter, which would be pretty intense, man. Now, gold. We go into the gold market. Gold is also testing where it had strength with tremendously lighter volume. You don't have a rejection of lower price yet, though. But we did with gold. You know, the equities, some of the, a lot of the equities have a rejection, not the contract, though. The contract is, is doing 1.5 million contracts. You're going into 2 million contracts. It hasn't reached the swing point yet. It hasn't reached the swing point of 2.2 million contracts where that low was established. But the bottom line, you still need a rejection of lower price. And then if we go over to the dollar, it's all about this dollar. Now, if you take a look at the dollar, the next two targets on the dollar go like this. Because you can see the wide price spread in the dollar out here today. So if we take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see is two different things. You're going to see the total breakdown with the dollar broken down and the swing point. Now the breakdown, the number of the breakdown is 106 381. That's that's uh, two, 106 2, 281. So many times you like to get a you know a bounce up to that area. The next swing is the 107 903. This area, that's what it's trying to get into right now. Now you can see the destruction on the dollar on the way down, you know, what, what is this? This is uh, a weekly, I don't know, that's last, uh, last November. You know, we had gone from 111 to 106 in a, in a week. In a week, okay? And then if we take a look and, and take a look at the expansion contraction, you are just right now, you're just over the 0.382. And the larger number is just over the 0.50. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Amos Steve Rhodes.